You had a bad day. Make you feel good. You turn it around. Cause you had a bad day. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, you guys. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I have four people that participated in the contest. So I'm going to um, scratch that, okay, until I start getting some more interaction um, about the things that I'm trying to do here on this channel. Um, that was $100 that I was I want to give to my oldest subscriber um that was a contest we have going N with no participants I think maybe five all together um unacceptable you know and, it, and I realize that so many content creators so I feel blessed anyway that it's a few thousand of y'all over here listening to me and if you don't want to go for the contest, that's a little bit too corny or cornball, tell me what you want. And, you know, and and we'll see if we can get it done for you. What would you like to do to even acknowledge your time here on the channel? What kind of content that you would like to see more of? Um, and please don't say social media and gossip because you've got so many channels that you can go see that from now. I, I don't I I rarely uh participate but I do sometimes but just let me know what you would be interested in seeing on the channel and some of the stories that we talk about and maybe we can uh bring them forth. But this right here is a story that I don't think not enough people are talking about. I think that it's um very necessary. Um uh, and that's this uh, conservative groups they draw a plan to dismantle the U.S. government and they want to replace it with Trump's vision and what they call it the 2025 project uh, a lot of y'all is not up on this a lot of y'all don't care a lot of y'all think that I'm just going to vote for Trump and like I said any black person in my opinion that votes for Trump is crazy okay if you can be in the Republican Party right now as a uh, or a mag a black MAGA, and I realize you a self hating um, neophyte, we can't deal with you anyway. But with more than a year to go before a twenty twenty four election, a constellation of conservative organizations is preparing for a possible second term for Donald Trump recruiting thousands of Americans to come to Washington on a mission to dismantle the federal government and replace it with a vision closer to their own. Sound like January 6th to me, you know. And the sad part is, like a lot of us are saying, these white folks don't want to prosecute Donald Trump. You know, they got all kinds of little whistles and, and things. And the good, uh, uh, humanity, the human beings know what I'm talking about. Okay? This right here is ridiculous. That means all of us are, or what, we can break the law or you have to be a rich white man. And either way it go, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. So, led by the long-established Heritage Foundation, think tank, and fueled by former Trump administrative officials, the far-reaching effort is essentially in government in waiting for the former Trump's return, or any candidate who aligns their ideas and can beat Joe Biden in 2024. With nearly a thousand page Project 2025 handbook and an army of Americans, the ideal is to have the civic infrastructure in place on day one to the commandeer, reshape 
and to do away with what Republicans deride as the deep state bureaucracy, in part by firing as many as 50,000 federal workers. They, I mean, while we sit back and relax and we think we've done what we're supposed to do because we go out and jo- uh, vote, these crazies, they, they work in overtime. They never stop because their whole being is chaotic. They, they, they have nothing to offer anybody, let alone humanity, because everything about them is about chaos. The, the, look at Donald Trump. Look at what he did in New York with his bills. Everything about him is chaotic and, and corrupt and, how do I say it, just disruptive. And this is what they've done to the United States. And half of the people are so crazy um, this group, you know, just to even think. So if Donald Trump wins, then that means the voting is okay. But if he loses, then that means it was some funny shyster stuff going on. Just how sick is that right there? Just that little bit in itself. So you said he's got to win or it was a fraud. And I think mental health and people get mad when I talk about it, is it was long overdue. It was too late by the time we really started addressing it. And hopefully it's, 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 it's um, at a state where it's, you know, some of the stuff still can be cleaned up. Like our churches, these evangelicals, or these black um, Christians that are just so hateful and uh, miseducated. Most of them think that they serve Jesus, but their hearts is far from him. And that's why he's going to say on the last day, get away from me, you evildoers. I never knew you. Most of the people who run around here claiming to be evangelicals or Christians are very hateful people. Oh, but they come across real sweet, like, oh, yeah, you should do this, and yeah. But then you start watching them judge people. Then you start watching them with their agendas. That's why I don't have nothing to do with no crazy-ass Christians. I really don't. And anybody else that's cultish-like, I ain't got time for them. Prayer does, does not do that to people. Doesn't make you alienate yourself or be mean to children. Think that you the only way, uh, there's only one way to think that that's, that's what the Republican Party is. And so you now, um, the unprecedented effort is being orchestrated again with dozens of right flank organization, many new to Washington and represents a changed approach from conservatives who traditionally have sought to limit a federal government by cutting federal taxes and slashing uh, federal spending. Instead, though, these Trump-era conservatives want to gut the administrative state from within by ousting federal employees they believe are standing in the way of the president's agenda and replacing them with like-minded officials more eager to fulfill the new executive's approach to government. The goal is to avoid the pitfalls of Trump's first years in office, said the Republican president's team, uh, because they said they was ill-prepared. His cabinet nominees had trouble winning state uh, Senate confirmations, and policies were met with resistance by lawmakers, government workers, and even Trump's own appointees who refused to bend or break protocol, and in, or in some cases, violate laws to achieve his goal. He wants his group of people to be willing to do all that. While many of the Project 2025 proposals are inspired by Trump, they are also being echoed by um, Ron DeSantis. I mean, these guys are really, I mean, they, they really got a plan. They ain't took no time off like the dumb Republic, uh, Democrats. 
the Do Nothing Democrats. While many of the Project 2025 proposals are inspired by Trump, again, they are being echoed by rivals like Ron DeSantis and Vivek Ramaswamy and are gaining prominence among other Republicans. And if Trump wins a second term, the work from the Heritage Coalition ensures the president will have the personnel to carry the personnel, I'm sorry, to carry forward his unfinished White House business. Um, the president, day one, will be a wrecking ball for the administrative state, said Russell Vault, a former Trump administrative official involved in the effort who is now president at the Conservative Center for Renewing America. Much of the new president's agenda would be accomplished by reinstating what's called Schedule F, a Trump-era executive order that would classify tens of thousands of the two million federal employees as essentially at-will workers, and they could be more easily fired. Biden has rescinded the executive order upon taking office in 2021, but Trump and other presidential hopefuls now vow to reinstate it. It frightens me, said Mary Guy, a professor of public administration at the University of Colorado, Denver, who warns the idea could bring a return to political spoil or a, a political spoils into system. Experts argue Schedule F will create chaos, see there that, that word again, in the civil service. I used to work in the civil service. I, um, I'm out. I'm retired. Which was overhauled during President Jimmy Carter's administration in an attempt to ensure a professional workforce and end political bias dating back from the 19th century patriot. As it stands now, just 4,000 members of the federal workforce workforce are considered political appointees who are typically who typically change with each administration but schedule f could put tens of thousands of career professional jobs at risk we have a democracy that is at risk of suicide schedule f is just one more bullet in the gun guy said the ideas contained in the Heritage Coffee Table Ready Book are both ambitious, periodical, a mix of long-standing conservative policies and a stark head-turning proposals that gained prominence in the Trump era. There's a top-to-bottom overhaul of the Department of Justice particularly curbing its independence and ending FBI efforts to combat the spread of misinformation. It calls for stepped-up prosecution of anyone providing disturbing um, or distributing abortion pills by mail. Uh, this, this, this shit just sounds like something out of the hands maiden's tale, if you ask me. There are proposals to have Pentagon abolish is recent diversity, equality, and inclusion initiatives. And the project calls for a woke agenda and reinstate uh, service members discharged for refusing uh, COVID-19 vaccination. Chapter by chapter, the pages offer a how-to manual for the next president, similar to the one the Heritage produced 50 years ago ahead of the Ronald Reagan administration. Authored by some of today's most prominent thinkers, no, most racist thinkers, that's what it should be, and hypocritical evil men, this conservative movement is often sprinkled with apocalyptic language. A chapter written by Trump's former acting deputy sec of a secretary of Homeland Security calls for the bolstering of a number of political appointees and uh, redeploying office personnel with law enforcement ability into the field 
to maximize law enforcement capabilities. I mean, what is all of this craziness? I mean, what is it? I mean, they got a whole scheme of madness ready. Uh, but Dorian Greenwald, well, conservatives have long held a grim view of federal off, uh, government offices, complaining that they are stacked with liberals intent on halting Republican agendas. But Doreen Greenwald, national president of the National Treasury Employees Union, said most federal workers live in states and are your neighbors, family, and friends. Federal employees are not the enemy. While president typically rely on Congress to put uh, policies into place, the Heritage Project leans into what legal scholars refer to as a unitary view of of executive power that suggests that the president has the broad authority to act alone. As I said, once he get in there, y'all can forget about ever having an election again. And the man is psychotic. Okay? So they go to show you how many people on this planet needs mental help. Anytime you look at somebody like that who's committed all these crimes, I mean, forget about the political craziness he uh, he said he could go up and down fifth avenue and kill somebody and and he would still be elected now that's a psychotic person that would say that and it's a psychotic movement that would even hire somebody like that okay to push past senators and try to block presidential cabinet nominees uh tw project 2025 proposes installing top allies in acting administrative roles as was done during the Trump administration to bypass the Senate confirmation process. John M. M. McEmty, another former Trump official, advising the effort, said the next administration can play hardball a little more than we did with Congress. In fact, Congress would see its role diminished. No more checks and balances. Okay? For example, with a proposal to eliminate congressional notification on certain foreign arms sales. Philip Wallach, a senior fellow at the American Institute, also studies the separation of the powers and was not part of the Heritage Pro Project. He said that there's a certain amount of fantasizing about the president's capabilities. The thing about it is, these white supremacists want to uh, make it like it was. They want to go back. They want to go back, 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 back. Like I said, Jim Crow 5.0. Okay? Some of these visions, I mean... They do start to just bleed into some kind of authoritarian fantasies where the president won the election, so he's in charge, so everybody has to do what he says, and that's not just uh, the system of government that we live under. At the Heritage Office, Dan's has faded uh, a faded photo on his wall of an earlier um, era in Washington with the White House situated almost alone in the city, dirt streets in all directions. It's an image of what conservatives have long desired, a smaller federal government. Now, you know, that, those are lies. The Heritage Coalition is taking its recruitment efforts on the road, crisscrossing America to fill federal jobs, the federal jobs that they get. They staffed the Iowa State Fair this month and signed up hundreds of people. And they're building out a database of potential employees, inviting them to be trained in government operations. See, where is the Democrats' uh, boots-on-the-ground strategy? They don't have one. See, and for all of us who complain about the Democratic Party, if you ain't never what was out there 
uh, with a grassroots effort with somebody that you selected to be elected, then you really can't say nothing. Because like I said, we do our one vote. We don't even know nothing about down ballot. We do our one vote, and we think once the vote is over with, we get lazy, we go home, and we wait and see what's going to happen in the next four years. All that shit is about to change. It's counterintuitive, Dan's acknowledged, the idea of joining government to shrink it. But he said that the lessons learned from the Trump days about what's needed to regain control. You know, this is what this Project 2025 is all about. And for those of y'all who didn't get a clear um, description or explanation from me, why don't you just look it up and then you can uh, choose to read it at your own pace. It's nearly a thousand pages what these fools want to do to the new America. And, you know, Kit McNally, I want to say something. She ran a Bened- St. Benedict's here in where I live, Milwaukee. Um, she said something real important. And, and she said the problem with America, and I hate to really say this. She did. She said, but to tell the truth, it's white males. She was married to Joel McNally, a great um, fair-minded journalist who wrote for the Milwaukee Journal. She said the problem with America is white males. And until we can take get some power out of their hands, this America as we know it is going to be destroyed. And by God, Kit, you told the truth. I mean, they're allowing other men to be women and then kick the natural born women's teeth out, crush their skulls, participate in swimming um, contests with women, all kinds of madness. All kinds. But I don't know. What say you? Tell me about it. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.